I'm Jason, the world is yours, and today we're taking a look at photos of the Air Jordan 13 Playoffs sneaker colorway. The Air Jordan 13 Playoffs sneaker colorway is slated to return next year in celebration of its 25th anniversary. Overall, Michael Jordan MJ debuted the uh, sneaker silhouette during the 1998 NBA All-Star Game and the 2023 variation will consist as only the second retro release in 25 years. Wow. The Air Jordan 13 um, Playoffs 2023 looks identical to the OG pair from 1998. These are going to sell out. I mean, it's not even going to be close. With its black true red, that's a great sneaker color, um, and white color scheme, black tumbled leather and tonal suede overlays comprise its base while yellow and red accents throughout followed by a white midsole and red rubber outsole round out this sneaker design. Retailing for only $210. Look for the Air Jordan 13 playoff sneaker colorway once more on February 18, 2023 to coincide to coincide, excuse me, to coincide with the NBA All-Star Weekend 2023. How about that? Let's let's get a look at some of these sneakers. Um now, I don't I, Okay, the one thing I would say about the 13s is this is probably the end of the line for me, right? Like the 14s, the 15s, 16s, 17s, 18s. Um, I I really haven't seen, you know, too many sneakers past the 13 that I actually wanted to buy as far as Jordans. You can go and take a, take a look at the 14s, the 15s, 16s, 17s, and the 18s, and you would agree that these this silhouette is way, way, way above the rest of them. Um, now, about the 13, I feel like the 13s and the 12s are kind of, they're just super similar Definitely different silhouettes, but my love for the sneaker is about is about the same. I would say I like the the thirteens a little bit more because of that hologram, but I feel like the silhouette is just kind of yeah, it, it's okay, right? Obviously, the world changed when um, the Jordans eleven dropped, and you know basically a lot of people stopped at the elevens, you know, and you could still wear the elevens, but I. You know, so in many ways, the 12 and the 13s were underrated, but, you know, com even compared to the 11, I mean, you know, the, the 12s and the 13s don't compete. But if you compare the 12s and the 13s to the 14s, 15s, 16s, 17s, and any other number after that, I think, you know, these are way, way above those. And I mean, um, I like these a lot. I've, I've seen some really dope uh, colorways for these sneakers. Um, so... I would personally, I would definitely buy, I got to be honest, I would buy these sneakers. I love the bread um, um, colorway um, and the price, only $210. That, I don't think, you know, I mean, that's extremely expensive. Like I said, we normally like to cover, you know, r retail price for the average consumer who walks into their local um the local sneaker store with you know a hundred maybe thirty dollars in the pocket maybe like one sixty one seventy at the most, and you know can afford to buy some sneakers. But um, when we do cover sneakers above two hundred dollars, definitely a little bit more critical, and of how we would spend our money for. But I think these are worth it. Like I said, um, these these have only retro. This will be the second time, right? I don't think this will be the third time. This will be the only second retro in 25 years. So I think these are going to be extremely difficult to find. Did it say where they're going to be retailing at? It doesn't, it doesn't say. It just says the retail price of 210 It doesn't say it's going to be. Obviously, it's going to be on Nike.com. But will it be like in stores, retail stores, or is this going to be a drop? Because only two retros in 25 years. The second, you know, the first retro probably did great. I would imagine this retro is going to do just as well. And these sneakers are very dope. They're a beautiful colorway. I don't know if they're going to release more colorways or they're just going to drop this colorway because the um, Jordan, the Jordan um, 13, um, 
dropped and you can see some look look at this the del sol color look at this del sol color look at that colorway man that is a very very dope colorway like i said this is a dope sneaker silhouette and i feel like it's a lot it's definitely underrated because you know when the jordan 11 came out it changed the world and like i said in my opinion after the jordan 13 i basically stopped right like there's not too many silhouettes after the jordan 13 that i was like i really 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 love i know some people like the 14 the um the i, I would call them the car sneaker um silhouette it's a it's a cool silhouette i, I don't hate the 14s but you know 15 16 17 18s and numbers above those I, I really wasn't into but let me know your opinion i mean look at the jordan 13 del sol look at those those are clean those are very dope right those are clean um but let me know your opinion of these sneakers um do you think 210 dollars is a little bit too expensive or do you kind of agree with me that hey if you had 210 dollars plus retail tax um retail plus your yeah, retail tax, um, you would you would definitely buy these sneakers because this silhouette is super dope and this is the only second retro um, in 25 years. Wow. I'm Jason. The world is yours. Today we're taking a look at a pretty dope sneaker silhouette in the Jordan collection. One, you know, the basically the end of the line for me when it came to Jordans after the 13, I basically got out of the Jordans sneaker um paying attention to but um today we were taking a look at the jordan 13 playoff sneaker colorway will be slated to re-release in 2023 for all-star weekend for nba all-star weekend february um 2023 hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the one dollar donation button and please tune in to the next video on this channel. Thanks a million for watching.